I feel like Korean beauty is synonymous with trend setting and let's face it, when we're trying to figure out trends, we tend to look at what the Korean girls are using and that is something that I have been extremely interested as of lately, especially when it comes to that niche crowd because I feel like that is that bubble where a lot of the trends come from and then they become more popular, more mainstream and you see them more widespread. I'm thinking that they might become a bigger trend as they evolve over time. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about when it comes to what the it girls are loving in Korea and especially with the niche crowd is gonna be not only sensitive skin friendly skincare, but also skincare that is aesthetic, which I know we're all kind of overwhelmed with that term at this point. But I feel like now that skincare brands have become more elegant and they've become more popularized or more mainstream, you're seeing more competition, which more competition brings up higher quality products at a better price point, which brings me to not only the sponsor of this video, but a brand that I have truly been loving, which is Kane. Now Kane embodies to me that all encompassing skincare brand that has everything the it girls want in one brand. And that means they are vegan friendly, they are sensitive skin friendly, they're also aesthetic, and they're at an affordable price point for high quality products. And in general, Kane is one of those Korean beauty brands that I feel like brings the bar up quite a bit higher. When I started testing out these products, I actually didn't know how much they cost. If you asked me to guess, I would have guessed easily double the price that they're actually at. Now, before I talk about the three products that I tested out from Kane, let me go ahead and tell you guys my skin type if you're not familiar. I have a dry, sensitive skin type, but I'm also prone to breakouts, and when I do get breakouts, they tend to be like those very deep cystic style pimples that take a while to come to head. So I have like a combination of really difficult things to treat. I have sensitive skin, so I can't use too harsh of products on my skin, but I also do need products that are gonna be effective at treating some of my problem areas because I do have pimples. First, let's talk about the Rosemary Relief Gel Cleanser. This has a 0.45 BHA salicylic acid in this, and this also has rosemary in it. So that percentage of BHA is nice because it's gonna help break down the oil in your skin and remove it so it's not causing further breakouts. And the rosemary is gonna help calm down the skin and also help balance out the skin. And one thing that I really like about this cleanser in general is that it has a nice suds to it without being overly sudsy because for me, trying to find that happy medium of a cleanser that actually removes my makeup and SPF from the day but doesn't completely strip my skin can be difficult. And I'm not gonna mention names here, but we all know those drugstore brands that are sensitive skin friendly and do nothing to clean the skin. For me, this is kind of like the perfect cleanser because it's formulated for sensitive skin types so I can use it around my eyes and it's not going to burn or anything like that. I can use it on areas that I tend to break out more. And like a lot of the other products that I'm about to talk about, this has panthenol, altoin, and hyaluronic acid. So a lot of ingredients that are gonna help bolster up and strengthen the skin barrier. Not only am I excited about the cleanser because it finally works for my skin, but I'm really excited about this product because again, the price point of this is very reasonable. And this looks like a bottle you would find at like a department store, like a high-end department store. This looks very luxe and it's like nice and heavy too. This is the Kombu Balancing Ampule Toner. And like the name implies, the kombucha in this is actually at 60% and actually comes from black tea ferment. And it also has 1% panthenol in it. So again, it's gonna help strengthen the skin barrier. I challenge you to find a product that's this high quality at this price point because again, I'm not going to name names but I know of a very popular one available at major retailers like Sephora that's very, very expensive. In fact, it's like four times the price of this. And I like this one better. I like this one better because it has more body to it. It actually feels more substantial on my skin. And it actually does feel like it helps build up my skin's barrier and my skin feels a lot more stronger and it feels like it can tolerate more. It doesn't feel so sensitized. The process of fermentation actually breaks down the natural molecules smaller. So it's more readily available for the skin and can actually penetrate the skin at a deeper level. So having something like this in my skincare routine is an absolute necessity. The actual fermented kombucha in this contains eight times more vitamin C in this because again, that fermentation process actually makes it more concentrated. And like the cleanser, it has 
has a lot of other helpful ingredients, like I mentioned the panthenol, but we also have allotoin and beta-glucan. Last but not least, we have the moisturizer from Kane, which this is the Green Calm Aqua Cream. It contains their 30% Green Calm Complex, which is a combination of a lot of soothing ingredients that you'll see in other products, but in this one, it's actually combined all in one, so you get all of those benefits in one cream. If you look at all of those ingredients individually, you'll see how those are really good for soothing down irritation and inflammation of the skin. And since I do have the dry skin, which tends to be compromised, as well as a sensitive skin compromise and the breakouts, which are irritated, something like this is really nice. Like all the other products, this does contain panthenol, and this one specifically has ectoin, which is an emollient type of ingredient, which helps hydrate and nourish the skin. None of these products have added fragrance in them, which I'm finding as I'm getting older, I'm leaning more towards. It really doesn't have much of a scent at all. It's not like overly perfumey like you'd expect from a high-end looking product like this. Like every product that is in the department store is perfumey. The texture of this cream is really nice because it feels really cooling on the skin. It has a bit of a gel cream texture to it, so it's very all skin friendly. So if you have oily or combination skin, you would probably enjoy this a lot as well. For me, I like using this at night as the last step in my routine, or I'll use it in the morning as a step before my SPFs. Everything about Kane, I am obsessed with, and I definitely see why it's gonna be the next like if brand and why I'm seeing it become more popular and more people talk about it. And I feel like it's what all the niche girls are gonna be going for. So I really, really love them. And I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out or pick up any of their products. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next It Girl product that I feel like a lot of cream girls are using that still feels a bit niche and that is hand cream. Now if you watch any what's in my bags when it comes to Korean girls, you'll see a lot of them carrying around hand cream in their day-to-day -day bags. I do see that a little bit in the States, but not as much as I see in Korea. And I think it's just because there's a lot of popularization with taking care of your skin, including your hands. But there's actually this brand that I see pop up quite a bit and I'm actually seeing become more popular and that is Sky Bottle. Now Sky Bottle is a brand that specifically caters to body products, so they have hand creams, I think they have hand washes, and I believe they have body washes, but they're most popular for their hand creams, and so they're a little bit pricier for hand creams. They're about like 15 to $16 per tube, and I think that's really interesting because I think it feels very like it girl to have an expensive hand cream in your bag. Of their several fragrances, their most popular one is Fig, and even having like a Big scented hand cream, I think it feels very niche. Like it's not a popular scent like you would see lemon or floral scents. Like fig feels very rich and sweet and kind of has that like almost gourmand feel to it. So it's very interesting for me to see, like I said, a brand that is a little bit more expensive, caters to the hand cream crowd, and I'm seeing it become more popular. So Sky Bottle is another niche brand that I'm seeing become more popular with the It Girls in Korea. Now I feel like Perfume Talk has become very popular in the past year or two and just fragrances in general. And there's been a higher emphasis placed on finding niche brands and scents that not everyone is wearing because it feels a little bit more individual and unique to the person using it. And you know, you definitely feel like that it girl when you get a compliment on your perfume and it's some underground or indie brand that no one's ever heard of. And I'm seeing a lot of Korean brands come out with their own fragrances. I have a couple brands that stuck out to me when I was doing research for this video as far as like K perfumes or K fragrances go. The first one being Born to Stand Out, which if you guys have seen their marketing, it's gone kind of viral because it's very opposite of what you're used to seeing with Korean beauty brands. It feels very gritty. It's kind of cheeky. It's like overly provocative. Even their names are very similar to what NARS was doing when they first came out. They seem to be a bit more unisex and they seem to have not only a lot of interesting fragrance names, but notes as well. Some of the more popular ones that I've seen are Dirty Rice and Drunk Saffron. It's just like I said, very alternative to what you're used to seeing when it comes to Korean beauty brands. Now, if you're going for more of the like clean it girl aesthetic, Korea has definitely come up with a couple brands that follow along this like it girl vibe or aesthetic. And one of those is the brand called Nonfiction. Now Nonfiction, again, their store experience feels very clean. It feels very niche. It feels very high end, very similar to like Diptyque or 
Byredo, those types of brands. And some of their more popular scents seems to be Open Arms, Gaic Flower, and also Neroli Dream. So even those names alone feel very ethereal and feel very light and feel very girly and feminine. On top of their fragrances, I did notice that they had a lot of home offerings as well. So they have a line of candles, they have home scents, and I believe they also have like body products as well. So very aesthetic, like I said, very it girl, very niche, and a brand that I would definitely look out for. But overall, I'm just finding it so interesting because it didn't even occur to me that there weren't a lot of really popular world known Korean scents and seeing more Korean scents and Korean fragrance houses come up in the ranks and become more popular and kind of branch into that like niche fragrance world is really exciting because I feel like now is definitely the time where they could make waves. So I'm very excited about this. I, like everyone else, am fascinated by like fragrance talk, perfume talk, and all of these people describing these scents. So it's always very enticing. And like I said, it's a very unique experience that feels very it girl. This is a form of lip product that I have seen a couple brands come out with their own versions of. And I just find it so interesting because it does feel like a reinvention of a wheel that has happened in Korean beauty trends of the past and that is the lip blurring sticks. Holicaholica just launched some, I know Dusty has some, I have some by Lily by Red, and they're really interesting because, like I said, they're kind of a reinvention of the Korean gradient lip, but combining it with the feathered edge we've seen become more popular in the past couple of years as far as lip product application goes. But instead of using your finger to blur out the edge of your lips or a brush, they're now in stick format and with this format comes along more control, so you can actually use it to contour your lips. So with the ones that I'm holding right here, these Lily by Red ones, these are the Smiley Lip Blending Sticks. There's actually two like lip color shades and then two contour style shades. So it's using the contour to kind of lighten the outer lip and create that gradient and keep the color concentrated. Or you could just use the lip color ones, the like pink or the peach one and use it to completely feather out the entire lip. So it's really interesting because, I mean, let's face it, I feel like lip products and lip looks are like the mainstay of Korean beauty products and Korean makeup trends. And so yeah, when it comes to like lip looks, I'm constantly looking for who are the it girls and what brands are they using. And like I said, I'm seeing a lot of newer up and coming niche brands developing their own. So I think that's definitely gonna be a trend that's gonna be more popular coming up here in the future. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I wanted to discuss some of the trends that I see the it girls in Korea embracing, the niche brands that they tend to gravitate towards, and just talk about in general how I see them evolving over time. I think it's a really interesting microcosm to look at when you look at niche brands to the it girls and seeing how they become more mainstream because I really feel like that's where the trends start from. So I hope this was exciting and interesting for you guys. I had a lot of fun doing the research for this video. Like I mentioned, I will list everything in the description box, including all the cane products that I mentioned and all the links will be down there. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.